Why the Lakers wouldn't have won the 2020 NBA Finals. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to NBA Loop. Loyal Los Angeles Lakers fans have taken this season by storm, desperately awaiting the franchise's 17th championship. However, before you make any bets and let your emotions cloud your judgment, maybe you should hold off betting on the Lakers this time because judging by the past couple years, they wouldn't have won anyway. While the championships aren't in the near future because of COVID-19, it's difficult to even imagine them being successful. I recommend saving your money and betting on someone else. Number 1. Questionable Lineup the Lakers have been busy these last few years, continuing to sign and re-sign familiar names like Rajon Rondo, Avery Bradley, and DeMarcus Cousins. The Lakers have been considered top-heavy with a 34-year-old LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Four seconds to go. LeBron wants it. Drives at two men and scores with a finger roll. While the players are all all-stars, they will still need to perform at a high level to keep the Lakers on top. Rondo has aged and has never been a knockdown shooter. In comparison to the point guards for the top contenders in the league, such as Beverly, Westbrook, and Simmons, an aging Rondo and one-trick pony Quinn Cook put the point guard position for the Lakers at a slight disadvantage. Avery Bradley has experienced injured, riddled seasons, so we don't know about him either. Regardless, the Lakers Lakers roster just doesn't seem ideal for a championship. Number 2. Is LeBron James losing his touch? Anthony Davis is still a huge asset. He's averaging over 25 points per game and come playoff time will probably continue to be a major reason for LA's continued success. But there's no way he's carrying the Lakers all on his own. That will require 35-year-old LeBron James to not just stay healthy and sustain his current level of play, but it will very well demand he raises the bar even higher. James is still a beast of course no one is denying that, but he isn't at the same level as he once was, nor is he quite as agile as he was in the past. The past has proved to use that even the great King James can fall victim to injury. Is it possible James keeps pushing the envelope, staves off injury and age, and pushes the Lake Show back to title contention? Clearly. However, the likelihood that James will somehow accrue ailments, experience regression, hit some kind of wall, or even obtain a devastating injury increases with each passing day. Number 3 the LA Clippers are out to get them. Actor and comedian Michael Rappaport publicly announced that the Clippers are winning the championship. Now, LA has more than just the Lakers to bring it to victory with the Clippers becoming just as good or even better than their rivals. They are stronger in several key areas, including defense, and they have the star power to match the Lakers. The Clippers also have more depth and are much younger than the Lakers. The Lakers have a ton of guys 30 and older, and by the time these two would face off in a Western Conference Finals, they are likely both going to be close to 100 games into the regular and postseasons. Considering the current NBA odds, the Clippers are the team with the value. They have gotten better since the start of the year and they are built to beat the Lakers. If you are an LA person, maybe turn your attention to the Clippers and let the Lakers die down. Avery Bradley finds an opening spot. Number 4. Watching History Repeat Itself the Clippers might be the best offensive team we have seen since the MJ Pippen Rodman Chicago Bulls days and the Rockets with Westbrook will be formidable for any opponent. Utah got significantly better by upgrading with Conley Jr., Bogdanovic, and Jeff Green, not to mention the Nuggets who just got even deeper in the offseason. In the past, we've seen that the Lakers find these teams demanding and may find the challenge to be too much. Of course, we can't forget what almost always happens, chemistry issues, load management problems, and maybe even a couple injuries. The Lakers will have to prey on health, accelerated chemistry with the new coach and players, and consistent performance of their role players to reach the NBA Finals. Number 5. Their pride and joy has yet to win a title. Every Laker fan is ready to bite back a hater by mentioning Anthony Davis, one of the greatest players in the NBA. The only issue is they have nothing to back themselves up on other than some blurry videos of his actual playing. Bucket and a foul by Anthony Davis as Brandon Ingram fouled him. Usually in professional sports, your skills are judged after you've acquired a couple titles of some sort. Take Michael Jordan, for example, with six. Davis has yet to be given one, which is surely confusing because he definitely deserves it, but he's never even been to an NBA Finals. In his previous seven NBA seasons, Anthony Davis reached the NBA playoffs just two times and won one series. 
For his career, Davis is 5-8 and eight in postseason play, with his furthest destination being the conference semifinals two years ago. I know that a lack of past success isn't necessarily predictive for the future, but ignoring it feels a little silly. Davis is a superstar talent and a big reason for optimism in LA, but at this point, he's accomplished virtually nothing in the playoffs and there isn't a thing that can guarantee that will change. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.